Hey nail babes, welcome back to the channel. You are watching Nails by Nay, the nail art enthusiast. And today I have something really special for you guys. We are doing the November edition unboxing of Your Nail Lab by McCart. They have some super, super cute stuff. So let's just get into this unboxing. Okay, so they give us a little cute card talking about this um, box for the month of November. They gave us a brush saver. They gave us some charms and jewels. This beautiful gel polish. That is like a neon kind of jelly pink. Super cute. And they gave us this. Another gel polish. I was real like weirded out by the bottle. But yeah, the color surprised me. That super cute olive green. And then they gave us a pink liner brush and it is called cheerleader. I thought that was so cute and it's definitely giving like a baby pink. Super, super cute. I love the pinks. What I didn't like is that the packaging of this box was pretty upsetting. I got a lot of products that were damaged and that actually upset me a little bit, but you know, it's okay as long as the product inside I guess is good we are good and they also gave me these full cover um, press on tips in the shape of coffin and it's from their line they also had a yellow tint to it and I honestly did not know looking at them but looking at this video you can see that it has some type of yellow tint toward to it excuse me they also gave me four mccart glue that is my favorite glue in a little file so i will keep that in back stock while i do press ones so let's get into swatching okay guys so you see all that acrylic that just flew off very upsetting that's what i was talking about with this um unboxing and packaging so we're gonna swatch that definitely cute the orange is really really cute it's like a deep orange not a bright orange but a deep orange and it's super super cute giving real fall vibes definitely with the changes of season and the leaves and you can see like little sparkles in that this is the next swatch of their pro acrylic line this one is called bottle me up and the other one was called rose banquet and you see all that acrylic i was trying to push it off <clears throat> excuse me with my nail but i couldn't do it so that was upsetting and this one was super super cute once i swatched this i knew what i was doing with this video i knew it it's giving cherry red and what do you know <laughs> that's the theme of this video so yes let's get into this set so like I stated before, when I swatched that cherry red, I knew that's what I was going to use for this video. I said I need to do something with this color. So what better than when I thought of this color, thought of cherries, why not do a cherry theme set? So basically it's an addition of like a mix between cherries and pop art. That little trendy design that you see all over Instagram, all over TikTok. Everybody's doing it with Frenchies and full cover nails. So I wanted to mix that together with this set. So we're using that McCart Pro Acrylic line. Bottle me up for the pinky and the pointer. And then we're going in with light ivory from Glam and Glitz to do the middle finger and the ring finger. And all we're doing is just laying a thin layer of acrylic just to fill it out and everything was moving like butter i love the covers from glam and glitz and also that red from mccart was super buttery super smooth easy to apply i had no problems you might have to just wait a little bit for it to set on your brush but that is perfectly fine you have to do that with application period so i had no problems with laying that so yeah now we are doing the encapsulation of the colored acrylic because i always say don't ever build your nails with colored acrylic 
we lay a thin layer and then we cap it with clear to build your apex area and since this was a practice hand we didn't need to do a thicker apex area because they're not being worn they're going to be displayed and this is just for the art baby we're just going to watch the art come to life and that's what i did with this set i brought the art to life i literally posted a video <clears throat> excuse me of this set a couple weeks before i actually wanted to de to decide to record the video and i posted it out i posted it on tiktok and then posted it on my instagram page and I actually designed this set on Procreate on my uh, iPad and honestly that helped me plan out this set because I really didn't know what I was going to do or what I was going to draw. I just knew I wanted to do pop art. I know I wanted to do cherries but I didn't want to do the typical design that I always do or the uh, typical design you see with um, the cherry with the little french tips and then you just see the cherries and stuff i said i wanted to twist it up a little bit and i feel like that's what i did we went in with a base coat to lay all the nail art and that just ensures nothing slides off and if you make mistakes it's easy for you to wipe it off so that's what we did and we cured that for like 30 seconds and now we're going in with a kiara sky red to do this lips and then on the ring finger we're going to do the cherries so I just want you guys to sit back and enjoy and watch me bring this set to life. It came out super, super cute. I loved everything about this set. Honestly, I wish I would have did it on myself. Hey guys, so to complete this whole nail art design, I used the dotter tool. I know a lot of people when they do gel art, they might use the liner brushes, but I find that using the dot dotting tool is essential when doing gel art. It allows you to get a little more precision when creating shapes, to creating drips, facial features, or anything like that. And I love using the dotting tool. You can get them in different sizes when they come in a pack. They come in a pack, excuse me, of different sizes. I use tend to use a bigger one and then on the opposite side it may have a smaller side and then I just alternate between the two but I love using these to create gel art and majority of my design is done with these dotting tools I will go in with a liner brush and these are actually some new um, liner brushes that I got in and I use those and I just use do the highlighting the adding shadow and depth and just creating this whole look and bringing this whole look together because honestly it was amazing i loved doing this set i will honestly do it on anybody who wants it so all i want you guys to do is just sit back enjoy i will be back in and out of this video to tell you more about the set and if i have any tips here and there but all right, guys, just sit back and enjoy. Y'all, I'm not even going to lie. When I started putting all the details into this design and I saw that the lips were coming together and the cherries were spot on exactly how I created them when I did the design initially on Procreate, I was like, this set is giving life i was so excited i was so happy because you know how sometimes you might plan something out and it don't ever come out exactly how you want it so then you got to figure out how to finesse it to make you like it even more but when i tell y'all this set was popping i i was astonished that i was even able to do it and honestly it was just amazing. I was speechless. I was speechless. Like you can't tell me 
that that design right there and them cherries aren't given you can't tell me that they're not they you there's nothing that you can't say like it came out amazing <laughs> everything <laughs> all right let me stop let me stop but okay so we are going in with the liner brush and like i stated before we're just using this to outline because you want to outline your nail art with black or a darker color to give it more depth to make it stand out because sometimes it may um, start to fade into the background color and you don't want that you want it to stick out you want it to almost look like it's a sticker but it's not it's actually hand painted art so you always want to either highlight it add depth outline it you want to do as much detail as you can when it comes to nail art and i find it easier to know what you're going to do when you study anybody else that is an artist or you just look at cartoons and just like I said, this was a pop art design. I wanted it to symbolize like a, reading a comic book and you know how comic books look. They look like sometimes they're popping out or they might have those extra features that look like a cartoon. I wanted that. I wanted to be able to give that off in this set. And I feel like I was able to achieve it with all the details that I did and all the tools that I used to achieve the look. I feel like we got there, we did it. And it came out so cute. Like, oh my gosh, look at those cherries. Guys, look at those cherries. They're so amazing. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> okay, guys, like, let's just take a moment of silence for this design you can't y'all look at that look at it everything was coming together and i wasn't even finished this ain't even the final look it's amazing amazing i get super excited when stuff comes out the way i want it like i feel like it's always like that for anybody whether you're doing makeup you're doing lashes you're doing you're painting, you're building something, you're doing a project. When it comes out exactly how you plan it, it's just like the cherry on top. It's just like a, the chef's kiss. It's amazing. And I was just so happy doing this set, like so happy. And I even have it, like I'm doing this voiceover after, you know, whatever. But I still have it sitting in the shop and I have yet to record another video. So now we are just going in with the final touches to complete this look. We're adding some dots in a light pink. And this polish I believe was from DND. &D. And we're just going in to fill in the negative space to bring the whole comic pop art trend look together. And guys, this set came out so cute. I cannot express that enough. I was so happy doing this set. Like, y'all. I ate. <laughs> it's cute. It's really, really cute. It's really, really giving. So I do want to say this. Uh, the ending video that you will see, it is a little different from what I finished here after adding the top coat. I had to do it off camera because I forgot about it. I added a bottom row of teeth and then I went back in over the black lines and made them a little bit thicker so you can see them more. And you will see what I'm talking about. But guys i want to thank you for tuning in and staying with me and watching me create these beautiful sets thank you thank you so much i love you guys tune in to the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss the next video bye